guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new career mode with Newcastle United. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's my first proper Newcastle United career mode in years, and what a time to do it. I'm going to be taking over this great football club that I support in real life, and I am going to be doing something in this career mode that I've actually never done before. Have a look at the calendar. We are not starting this career mode at the beginning of the Premier League season. No, we're actually starting it at the beginning of February in 2022. So basically about the time you're watching this within the same week, maybe just after the January transfer window. So we are picking up this career mode essentially as if it were real life. And I had just walked into the club. I have recreated all of Newcastle United's real life Premier League results into this career mode. So it's got them currently in 19th place in this career mode in a very similar position to their situation in real life. I did have to simulate one or two extra games, obviously with the Premier League delaying a few games with COVID, but it is borderline bang on to the situation they are currently in in real life. I have, of course, even gone ahead and added all the new players that they have signed in the last transfer window in January. So Kieran Trippier, he's in the football club. We've got Target in the football club now loaned in from Aston Villa. Another player, the big one, or the one I'm most excited to see how he's going to turn out, Bruno Guimaraes. And then you've got others too, like Dan Byrne and obviously Chris Wood, who's probably going to have to start a lot of games early on because just like in real life, Callum Wilson is injured with a calf injury and we won't get him back for about another month or so. I'm telling you guys, I've got this spot on. Almost spot on, bang on with the amount of goals that each player has scored. Sam Maximum with eight, Wilson with six and whatnot, I'm telling you. Hell, look, I've even got Shelby's goal, the one that he scored against Leeds in our most recent win. I'm telling you, it's bang on. I've even gone ahead and done a face scan for myself and modded my own face onto my manager for this career mode as well. We've taken every step. And of course, because Newcastle United is now the richest club in the world of football, we're gonna have the finances to of course back ourselves and spend big, big money to hopefully dodge the championship and enter Champions League and maybe even win a title or two in that competition. Obviously with the January trance window coming and going and we are now in February, we're still gonna be able to sign players in this season, but none of them will join us until the start of next season. And look, I still need to scout players and figure out who I need to sign. I might rely on some of you guys for that as well, but one player I was really disappointed that Newcastle didn't pick up this season was, at least in the last window, Diego Carlos. We were very, very heavily linked with this guy. We were going back and forth with him and another centre-back, Sven Botman. But I really wanted to see Diego Carlos join Newcastle. It didn't happen. But in this career mode, you had better believe that I'm going to go all out to make whatever signing I want happen. There I am in the game. Oh, how good. Come on. And it looks like they're going to take my $50 million offer. So he will be my first signing, hopefully. Let's just get a little contract sorted out. I'm sure uh, a lot of players in our current predicament are going to want a bit of a payday, so we'll sort him out. Look, I am fully aware as a Newcastle United fan that a lot of these players are going to be joining us to get a little bit of extra cheddar. That's fine with me. Hopefully, we'll turn into a, a, a Champions League. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but hopefully, we'll become a, a draw that's not just for money down the future. He's currently getting paid about 47000 a week. You know what? I could probably give him like 80 k and he'd call it a day, but let's give him just because we're really balling out. We got that Saudi money. Let's just give him a 100k wage and call it. Yeah, you ain't turning that down, are you? Diego Carlos is coming to Newcastle. Maybe not in real life, but in this career mode, you bet your bottom dollar, he's joining us. We may not get to see him until the start of next season, but welcome to Newcastle United, Diego Carlos. So welcome to the team, Diego Carlos. I can't wait to put you in to this little centre-back partnership. As you can very clearly see, I've got my strongest starting 11 out there. I've revived the career of Almiron. I'm going to play him on the right mid position. Gimaraes, Willick, Joel Linton, Sam Maxman. I'm hoping will be a baller just like he is in real life. When Wilson comes back from his injury, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, certain areas we definitely need to strengthen uh, a little bit more hastily than others. Oh, but anyway, people, what do you say we finally get underway with this career mode, shall we? Let's start it off. The first game we have to play is against Everton. Here we go. We are going to be playing it on ultimate difficulty. I do imagine it will be quite difficult for me at the start. 
Um, even if I was playing ultimate difficulty in my last career mode with Wrexham, we built a Champions League winning team and a sick team there. This team is still full of predominantly mid 70 rated players with the odd 80 rated players sprinkled in there. It will be difficult. Wood's going to have to start as well. Lewis with his injury is sadly not going to be playing for me for at least about a month or so. So I'll start with Chris Wood up top. I don't know if he's going to be that great in FIFA terms and even in real life, but regardless, if he ends up being absolute trash, maybe I'll play Joel Linton up top or something, but I'm going to roll with this to start off this new era of Newcastle United with me as the gaffer. What can we do? Can we survive? Can we get out of the relegation zone, avoid the championship, and hopefully push next season and start heading in the right direction? Newcastle United, it's a brand new era. And fingers crossed we can start off this new era with three points against Everton who are struggling in real life at St. James's Park. Here we go. We are loaded with cash. We're hopefully soon going to be loaded with talent. So long as we survive, if I get relegated, that is a real spanner in the works for this career mode. And it's something I'm desperate to avoid. But on ultimate difficulty, it's still not going to be straightforward. And I feel like even if I sim games with this team, wins aren't guaranteed. But goodness me, I just cannot wait. Here we go, people. The new Newcastle United starting 11. The one that I've got with Trippier, Target, Cher, and Lascelles, the centre-backs. Gimaraish, I'm looking forward to seeing. He gets a debut. Willick, I am playing in centre midfield. We've got Almiron starting at the right wing. Normally, you'd be seeing Ryan Fraser probably there. Sam Maximum, I'm hoping, will influence. And, of course, Wood up top. Let's see what he can do as well. Oh, my goodness me. Well, let's start things off here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, with three points. The Newcastle United career mode. I have not done one, a full proper one, for so long. But it's underway. Let's start off with a dub. Down the wing. Could cut it back here. Ah, oh, there was a goal on there. But the delivery in the cross was no good. Chris Wood at corners, though. I think he could really be quite deadly. Quite dangerous. Head is wide. Oh, starting off strong, but a lot of chances going off. Come on, boys. This is a good chance to hopefully make use of an out-of-form Everton side and hopefully drag them down and pull ourselves out. He's got it. Another cutback. Will this one go in? It finally will! And it's Alan San Maximum that scores the first goal of the Newcastle career mode. Who else? The number one goal scorer for the club in real life will get the first of the career mode. Been trying for so long to get that cutback, and it's... Willick that gets by Keane, tapped in by San Maximin. I thought that would have been saved, but we stick it underneath the Mac and Barca to Pickford, and God, he nearly even got a hand to that. It's in. It's a dub. I'm pleased. I'm happy. The gaffer is happy in there. Oh, we're off. We're off. We're underway. Alan San Maximin, first goal of the career mode. Come on, lads. Should I say how are the lads? Here we go. First one underway. Let's keep it rolling. This club got relegated enough under Mike Ashley. We are not having it happen again. No Way, Trippier, don't let the nods get there. All right, fine, it's a corner, sure. Oh, he's tried it. Sigurdsson has got a big problem today, and that problem is Kieran Trippier. Just bang that one away. Oh, he finds Sam Maximin. Sam Maximin, the header, we're not going to keep it. But, uh, yeah, come on, boys, just hold on. Hold on to the end of the half, please. Richarlison. Oh, my God. What an effort, but what a save. Richarlison denied by Dubravka. Look at this touch. It bobbles up. He hits it first time. That is such a nice hit, and it's an awkward-looking save, but he gets it. Oh, my goodness, Martin. God, just get rid. Just get rid, and we're done. That's dangerous, you know. Oh, Richarlison nearly got there again. Townsend. That's going to be awkward, but it's going to be out, and that's surely going to be half time then. Yes, it will be. All right. Done and dusted the first half. We have our goal. San Maximin, the tap-in. We have... Finally broken the deadlock after really dominating for the first few 10 or so, 20 minutes. And uh, since the goal, it's been a little more even. But uh, we'll see. We've still got to hold out and see this win. Fun fact about Newcastle United, they have been in winning positions in the Premier League 10 times this season. But only twice have they actually seen out a win. So, uh, yeah, we're looking to hopefully install a bit more of a winning mentality in this team, in this career mode. As Richarlison's able to go just down the whole way and do whatever the hell he wants. Pah, target finally says no. The heel to heel, the drag back, Gimma Reich will win it back nicely. And I don't know if I'll be able to go through the middle like this, but oh, fucking hell. Going forward now, we're suddenly useless. Willick, that's a nice slide. Hello, maybe it'll open things up. Sam Maxman, just run it forward. Use your legs, use your legs. Wood, are you going to get in a position for me to cross the ball to you? He's floating off the ball. It's picked out the wrong guy. 
Give a rush! Oh, I just saw it sitting up and I thought, well, that'd be a nice debut goal, wouldn't it? Not quite. Straight to the keeper. Hit it bloody cleanly, though. Oh, I was going for Wood. Why didn't it select him? I, I was just... The Teote, the Teote goal just sort of stuck into my mind there a little bit. I'll be honest. From the corner, I think Wood would be very dangerous if we can get one on the money and not straight at the keeper. Going to make my first two changes. Uh, Joel Linton and Target are coming off. Got to be honest, Matt Target kind of got um got burned a bit in that game. So uh, man, Keo's in at left back. Chop him up from behind. I don't care. God damn it! How many times has this Brazilian won us the ball today? Unbelievable. I hope it's a, a shade of things to come in real life. Short little passes here. Willick might get in. All up over the top for him. Could be a chance at a volley, and that is going to do it. Joe Willick, what a goal! Oh. That's a sensational way to seal the game. You know what time it is. Joe knows what time it is. It's a new time for Newcastle. Oh, what a ball. Up over the top. Saw the run. And it just dropped for him with a man all up on him. He still gets the volley. And that's like Willick at the end of last season. Oh, clinical and deadly. And Pickford, the pillock, can't stop it. Yep, we are loving life. What a start. 2-0. I think we've got this. Our first three points of the new era. And we get them immediately. There we go, Lascelles. Little, oh, there's going to be some pressure. We're going to evade it. How about this play from Newcastle? God, look at the space. Nothing up ahead. Hayden's going to run forward. He's not going to have much on. Finally, Wood decides I'm going to get on side. Chris Wood will make it three. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolute dreamland here. It's ecstasy at St. James's Park. 3-0. Every win we've had this season has been a 1-0 just, oh, grinded out, disastrous affair. We've finally taken a team to the sword and killed them off after they've thrown literally everyone up. Chris Wood, he gets his first goal for Newcastle as well. Oh, we're flying. We're absolutely flying. It's only the first game, but damn, I am, I am happy. I am very happy. Everton have had chances, and it's been tough at times, but we have still been able to see out this 1-0 lead, make it 2, and then just put the dagger in the heart with the third. Oh, God, brilliant. And that'll do it. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 in the first game of the series. That is a promising start. I hope the boys can recreate that in real life. Uh, if they will, that would be fair. That would be sensational. But uh, uh, either way, back down into this career mode. A 3-0 dub to start things off. If you had San Maxman for the first goal scorer, you got it. If you had Willick scoring, you got it. If you had Chris Wood getting the goal, you've got it. Lovely, lovely start. Gimmerich, what a sensational season. Uh, I mean, game or start of the season he's had. He won the ball back like five, six, seven times in that game. Sensational all-around performance. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the dub. Three points. Lovely stuff to see there. We get the job done against Everton as well. And are we out the relegation zone with that or do we still have to wait? Nah, we are, we're, still, we're still a way to go. And you know what? Fair enough. It's crazy how to string a few wins together, you'll fly right out of the relegation zone. But uh, I mean, there's still no guarantees. It was still tough there. It was still tough. I'm actually going to move on forward. I might simulate this game against Aston Villa. I'm keen to simulate a handful of games, you know, because I want to know what this team can do in Sims. Are they useless? Do they lose every game? Is it all on me to try to make sure we survive or what? Let's find that out. Let's simulate against Aston Villa. Of course, they beat us. I think it was 2-0 in real life at the beginning of the season. What about in this one? Ah, it appears to be, God, an actual Danny Ings goal in the like 89th minute that has gotten Aston Villa all three points. Gotten. That has got Aston Villa all three points. So they beat us in both games in the season. Not a sensational start to the season, that's for sure. And look at my manager rating, by the way. It's 50, obviously, with being in the relegation zone. That's expected. So I've got to really turn it around quick. Otherwise, I am going to bloody get the sack. It is very likely if we lose just a handful more games, you know. So West Brom here away is is also like a pretty damn important game for us. Let me let me take a press conference as Gaffer, by the way. I, I didn't have my face in the game for my last career mode, so I'm just trying to I'm just basically trying to get on the telly as much as possible, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, can we expect something different from your team? We'll try to be on the front foot. Do we have any chance of beating West Ham? Uh, we can't make those mistakes. There's pride at stake. We'll be competitive, I promise. I'd hope so. Why is my morale not moving? anywhere. And finally, how will we approach the game? We'll focus on the performance. Well, duh. We won't underestimate West
West Ham. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's rustle some feathers. They're in sick. We're in 18th. Let's, we're the ones that aren't going to underestimate them. We love that. Elite, elite shard housery from the gaffer. Now, anyway, I'm going to actually experiment a little bit for this game. I'm going to start Joel Linton up top as a striker. Obviously, in real life, him being a striker hasn't been the most prolific, unfortunately. But he's kind of found a bit more of a home as a winger slash center mid. So I, I'm going to ditch that and go for him as an actual proper striker in this game. We're going to bring Shelby into the midfield. And that's really the only change, I reckon. Uh, we'll see if uh, Joel Linton's maybe slightly better than Wood. Wood scored in the last game. I mean, yeah, there was literally no one back when he did score, but I'll see how Joel Linton goes as a striker in this game against West Ham. Would we'll love another dub. I'm not expecting one, but let's just go out there and see what we can get. Z London Stadium is the venue for our first away game we'll be playing in this new Newcastle United career mode. Let's go pop some bubbles then, hopefully. Uh, West Ham in a very similar position in this career mode as they are in real life fighting, amazingly, for European football or possibly even goddamn Champions League. Who knows? That man, Gimaraes, had, like, such a great debut. He's won the ball back constantly. He was going forward. Like, he's everything that I hope he will be for Newcastle in real life. But I suppose time will tell. Let's do this then. The dub against Everton was mega. But if we got a win here against West Ham, I feel like that'd be even bigger. Oh, no. Oh, Matt Target, no. Oh, that's a terrible pass, though. And Lascelles will pick it off again. He's having to do a lot early, the captain. And hello. Chance here. Wood. He's actually starting this game. Why is that? Oh, that's weird. Why is Wood... Hang on a minute. That is... Oh, my God. The game stuffed me over here with the player selection. That's bizarre. Oh, Sam Maximin! Sam Maximin gets a goal! It bobbles and sits, and he gets the first goal of this game, just like he did in the last. Don't know what the hell is going on with Wood starting at striker. Joel Linton's in the game still at centre mid. It's like, oh my lord, FIFA. Like, why are you stuffing me around? But the ball sits nicely for Sam Maximin. We get the goal to start things off here, and Newcastle have had a decent record against West Ham in real life, so why not continue it on? He is proving to be just as big a goal threat in this career mode early as he has been for Newcastle IRL. I ain't gonna complain with that. Lovely, lovely stuff. It was fortunate, it was fortunate, but yeah, we got it. Surely no chance of a ball up over the top and a header maybe from Wood. It's Lobo, what a goal! Oh, Chris Wood, no way! The flying Kiwi! Oh my God, that is such an amazing start to this game. FIFA knew, EA knew something I didn't. It's a header looping over Areola. Unbelievable. I think, yeah, Willick that's played him in there, just sitting for him. The header is so perfectly weighted, it's a joke. Oh my God, Zuma's just running with him like a bloody, I don't know, like a cornerback in the NFL. God knows I'm, I ain't good with that sport. But deary dear, he thought he had him covered, no. That is magic. As if Kurt Zuma thought he could hold Chris Wood. Nah, <laughs> no. I thought I would have got the tackle there for sure. And now we're in a real dangerous position where I am just running out of plays. I fucking tried to switch to the... Oh my God. I tried to switch to the same player like three, four times and it never picked him. Okay, well, West Ham have won back and uh, they just went around us one time, had so much space. And I was just like, I don't know if I was panicking a bit there off the game. Genuinely just did not pick at all the player I was trying to get. Cutting in. Ah, oh, I did not want him. But we'll have Joel Linton. What a ball. How did he not head that? Did he go to kick it? It's somehow been picked off. There is so much. I'm just going to go for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew that would be a free kick. we got to put someone on the line for this. Please don't be a red. It surely won't be. It's going to be a yellow card. All right. Yeah, that's what I thought. But still a dangerous position. Just got to put someone on the line for this. I've got to. Cresswell. Clearance. Up and over the bar. Four. Oh, thank God. Out wide. Why? What What happened there? Oh, my God. It's over here. It's misplaced. I don't know if Gimarais touched it and that put it off target or something. I was looking to switch it to the other side, but whatever. I, uh, I was going to say I suppose I can't complain. I do have the lead, but I feel like I can a little bit. We could have had three, and it was just shenanigans for the first goal we conceded. So we're only up by the one, and I feel like we could be up by a little more than that. Let's just hopefully see these three points out, and not just improve our position in the Premier League table, but improve my damn manager rating and avoid the sack. Zuma. Oh, he's crept it in there. I'm going to run out of players here. And there is the equaliser. I knew I was going to run out of options. They work it to Lanzini. I either had to cover the goal or cover the passing lane to Lanzini. Obviously, I'm going to cover the goal when he's about 10 yards away. 
gets it to Lanzini, doesn't matter. All because what? They just keep passing this ball around and like, where is everybody? I think one of my center backs is sitting so deep. Who was that bloody share? And our two goal lead is evaporated. We could have been up by, I feel like three, no, three nil at one point. And the bloody weight of my passes right now feels so off. The passing has gone to shit in this second half. But yeah, I'm taking off Wood and Almer on and I'm bringing on Ryan Fraser and Isaac Hayden for a run and we're throwing Joel Linton up top. Let's see. I mean, I don't know. Joel Linton still has size, for, maybe from the corner. Maybe from the corner. You better believe it. Oh, Joel Linton from the corner gets the goal. We're back in front. Here I was thinking Chris Wood was going to be the danger man from corners and set pieces. Joel Linton's got size. We whack it into him on his noggin. It's a bloody brilliant delivery and the header is perfect. Well, right back in front again then, West Ham. What is your response? Bowden. Oh no, it's opening up here. That's a dangerous one. Surely he won't score from there. Rice drags his shot wide. Oh my God, that was such a good chance for them to equalize. And wow, it wasn't going to get blocked if it was in that corner. Man. Still going to come forward for it. Got to get to this ball first. We're not going to Vlasic. What a turn. Oh, what a turn. Oh, what a fucking turn. Oh, what a turn. I just thought it would run out before he would actually be able to squeeze past me. Oh, what a, what a spin. I've been put through the cycle. No, I don't think I can blame anyone but me for that. I'm just so confident with this touch here. I just thought I'd win the tackle. He does the 180. Suchek does the 182. He's completely got his back turned to goal and yet still swivels and gets a contact on it like he was facing the goal the whole time. Sam Maximin. No. Target. Up the middle. I can see Joel Linton. I can see another layoff. Pass it off Joel Linton. There was a man right there. And a pass cut off here. No. Vlasic has gotten onto that. Don't tell me they counter and get the goal. Oh, that'd be disastrous. It will be. It will be. It might Get there first, please. Dubravka gets a hand to it. Oh, that is so big. That is so important. Holy shit, I went for the win. I said that I wanted the win instead of the point. Oh, my God. And it nearly, I nearly just blew up in my face massively. Dubravka has somehow just stopped. Oh, God. Who was it? Antonio from going past him. It, literally, that save has kept us like a point. Oh, my God. We nearly bottled a 2-0 lead. It was a 3-2 lead. You know what? In the end, at the end of the day, I'm almost happy. I've, I've actually got a point because Dubravka, you bailed us out there massively. What a game. 3-3 in this one. Well, the point was nice, but look at my manager rating now. It's at 48, bro. We're still in the relegation zone. Game against Brentford coming up. This, I think, will be huge because it determines who's going in and out of the relegation zone after this match week. I sure hope I don't get the sack at any point simulating forward. No, thankfully not. But we do have a chance here to hopefully jump Brentford, chuck them into the bottom three and see ourselves out, which even though there are still plenty of games left this season, it would be nice for us to see. I'll give this a regular sim, but I'm almost definitely going to be jumping in, I feel like, at some point in this game. But we are underway. Let's see if away from home against Brentford, we can get that win that gets us out of the relegation zone. And hopefully with an early goal. No, not that time. Chance here right up the middle. Gimaraish can't get there, unfortunately. Oh, chance here. This is not a bad move. Will he shoot? Will he shoot? There's just so much passing in this box. Oh, and eventually someone gets ruled offside. Guys, eventually to score, you're going to need to have a shot on goal. I'll jump in in about 20-odd uh, minutes or so. If we don't get anything still, I'm going to have to yeah, take it into my own hands. Oh dear. Oh dear, that is really dangerous. It's so close to our goal. My God, guys, get rid. I'm concerned with our start to this half. And there is the goal. And it's a former Newcastle man that gets it against us. I have to jump in. Ivan Tooney with the opener. And yeah, we had so much possession in the first half. We didn't even shoot with it. Brentford actually did. And look at what happened. Through the gate, that's a lovely ball. Up the middle here. I don't know about Willick's chances. I'm running it through. He's gone the whole way. Oh my God, he's gone the whole way. Well, I was not expecting him to be able to charge in through that gap in their back line. It was a big gap, but damn, in the finish, Raya or David, or David Raya, Raya, I'm not sure what exactly his name is. I think he gets fingertips to this, sending it a little higher into the top corner, but he got the space, ran past the defender, little Nick. Yep, that's it. That's all it took. I think I was not expecting to even A, get a shot off, B, have it actually go in. Little touch. Not enough. We equalized 20 minutes. Can we get that winning goal? Can we find our way out of the zone? Please. 
Move this. Oh, fucking no. Terrible pass. Tony's got a lot of space. Oh, no. Horrid turnover in our own third. Look at what's happened. Look at this pass that is just not good enough at all to uh, who is it that I'm probably looking to go to? The number seven, it's Joel Linton. It's just played straight to a Brentford player who gives it straight to Tony, who scores immediately. Look, he's off and running and celebrating before the keepers even dived, man. Pathetic one turnover and look at how it gets punished. You literally turn it over once and it's already a goal. We might just get a good chance here. Wood, are you going to move, mate? Not looking very good, mate. Oh, you were pointing forward, Almiron, and then you changed, you fucking dickhead. Oh, come on. So out of sync. That ball through. Fuck, it's just, oh, it's just disgraceful. Get that ball, please, Sam Maximin. It's not a bad one, that at all. Cross at the back stick. Lovely delivery. Joel Linton is going to get denied by the goalkeeper when he is about nine yards away. He's offside anyway, is he? All right, fine. Fucking typical. By, oh, God. Of course he would be off. Of course somehow... It wasn't even like a bad strike. It was just a stupid, ridiculous FIFA 22 penalty. Fucking saved by the keeper, man. You've got to get to this ball. Please. Header by Willick. Thank you. Three minutes. Trippier, you got to pass this. One more. Almiron. It's moving into the middle. Fucking another interception. I'm fucking pissed. Fucking kill the next cunt that turns the ball over again. Not that we're going to have any time. One minute of stoppage time. We've got to get the ball here and now. Oh, we've done it. What is that for a pass? Almiron. It's a foul. Oh, for God. Sakes, they've just been pissing me off in the last minute. And there's no point now. They've given it right back to us again, but it's already over now. Oh, my fucking Lord, guys. Are you kidding me? The passing is so dog shit in this team. Oh, I got a bit to work on. I got a bit to work on. Things were looking great. Amazing win against Everton. And then the West Ham game started strong, dipped a little bit. And now I've simulated it as well. And bloody hell, of course we would go down. I jump in. We equalize. Great. But one again. Turnover is the reason that we lose this game. We turned it over in our own third. And about a second later, the ball was in our net. It's just savage ultimate difficulty. You can't keep turning the ball over like that. And we do it all the fucking time. Oh, well, God, that makes relegation battle a hell of a lot harder now, doesn't it? I mean, we're still... Uh, within three points. I don't know what Leeds goal difference is like in Brentford and Norwich. I know ours in real life is pretty garbage, so it would be about the same in this season. And yeah, we are, we're still quite a way away from everyone else's goal difference, so we're going to need to do it on points most likely. If I sim this game and we lose it against Brighton, that is going to be a real problem. But we're at home. They're not too far away from where we are in the table. A couple of positions. What do you say, boys? With our strongest starting 11, with Callum Wilson back, by the way, from injury, and you're taking the piss! How much money did we spend in the January transfer window just for me to have to carry you everywhere? Even with Wilson back in the team, we still... God damn it. I should have known because you never simulate against Brighton and win. They're a cheat code in Sims with this game. I can't believe this, man. Look at my manager rating. It's 46. If I advance to this game against Chelsea, am I going to get the damn sack? No. But holy crap, we have such a tough run in toward the end of our season as well. We got Chelsea, we got Palace, that's a hopeful winnable game for us at home. Tottenham then, Wolves in real life, you know, all right, Leicester in real life, you know, all right, uh, Liverpool, and then you've got bloody Manchester City, Arsenal, Burnley's the last game of the season, but they're actually kind of going a little bit better nowadays in this career mode at least anyway, so it's gonna be actually a bit closer than I would have hoped. One positive, I suppose, is that it looks like Leeds and, Bro and Brentford have played a game, and if we were to win, we would go level with Leeds on points, but that requires us to beat Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. I don't know, man. I, would hope it, I was hoping this would be a little bit more straightforward, but I don't think it will be. This team of ours had better stand up in the tail end of the season in some of the big games. Now that we got Callum Wilson back, that's a big tick. That's a big plus. I'm very happy to have him back, and hopefully we can turn this around. If we don't... And I'm in the championship for the second season. I'm, oh my God, man, my heart sinks. Because it's not what I want. It's really not what I want. And uh, I don't know, something I need you guys as well. Look at that starting 11. I need some suggestions. Put it in the comment section. Players you want me to sign or just positions you want me to strengthen. Looking at the team. No, we already have a center back coming in Diego Carlos. So maybe we don't need another center back just yet. Maybe center mids is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe another winger. 
could go for a star striker or something. I don't know. And also know that we're losing target at the left back position next season as well. So we could also do with another defender there. I don't know. Whatever. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I'm on the verge of being sacked. I need to survive. Otherwise, I am in big shit. But let's hope that does not happen. Let's hope that we can stay up. And yeah, hope that we can have a great career mode. Uh, we just need to get through this one crap season and then get through to the start of another Premier League season, build up the team, spend our incredible wealth on those incredible players and completely turn the future of this football club around. I'll see you all for episode two. Leave me your suggestions. Don't forget to like and especially subscribe if you are indeed new to the channel because this career mode is going to be popping. I guarantee you. Catch you for the next episode. See you later and bye-bye.